everyone today i'm going to show you some activities that you can try with unifix cubes as you can see these are the unifix cubes and these cubes bring a hundred cubes it brings 10 different colors and each color has 10 cubes unifix cubes are probably one of the best math manipulatives to teach addition and subtraction along with patterns and sorting. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can make some fun activities um, for young children. So one of the first things that you can do with Unifix blocks is you can teach number quantity. So you want to lay out some number cards and you can get these on my blog for free. Laminate them. And you want to have the child place the correct number of cubes in each, uh, under each number card. You want to always remember to introduce the number zero because zero is a number. You want to have the child simply put the correct number of cubes under each number too so that they can start understanding that each number has a number quantity attached to it. And you can go on, you can uh, go on to the number 10 once they uh, get better at that. Another thing that you can do is with these uh, unifix cubes you can do sorting and you can start off with simple sorting two categories and just sorting black, yellow, black, yellow. Then you can go on to sorting multiple colors. You can also teach patterns. You can set up a pattern and then have the child complete the pattern with the cubes. Black, yellow, black, yellow, black, and, and so on, until they have finished um, all of the cubes. One fun game that you can play is you can get these um, grids at my blog for free. I'll put a link on the description box. And you can have them play a number quantity game. You can use this, uh, these dice. Um, I, got the, I made this one out of a tissue box and some paper, and this one I got at the dollar store. So you can go ahead and have the child roll it and then put the correct number of cubes. Two. This is a good number quantity game. One. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. And they go on and on rolling the die until they have uh, completed the entire grid. That's a fun one that children really love to play. And... One of the best things that you can teach with these cubes is addition and subtraction. It is probably the best way to teach addition and subtraction. So you want to start off with two different colors to teach addition and subtraction. And then you want to start off telling the child, let's get two. So they put two here. One. So two plus one is what? Let's put it together. What is two plus one? Let's count. One, two, three. Two plus one is three. And you go on doing different problems like this so that the child understands addition. Two plus two. What is two plus two? Let's find out. Let's put it together. Let's put it all together. Two plus two. One, two, three, four. Two plus two is four. And you go on and on, giving them different problems to, so that they can understand the concept of addition. And you can do the same thing with subtraction, which is what, what's so wonderful about these uh, unifix uh, cubes. You can have uh, the child use one color and take away a quantity that you tell them to. So here we have uh, five cubes. Here we have five cubes. So let's take away two. One, two. How many do we have left? Three. Yes. And you keep giving them different problems. What is four minus one? So let's see. Four minus one. Here we have four. Minus one. Let's take away one. How many do we have left? Three. And you keep giving them different problems like this at the beginning when you're first teaching them addition and subtraction. Then you want to give them some problems with these um, index cards that are laminated. I made these. And you can easily make them yourself as well. And um, so you want to have a, an index card out, and you want to have them put unifix cubes to represent the quantities. 2 plus 2. What is 2 plus 2? 
one, two, three, four. You want to have them write it down, or if they cannot write yet, or are still having problems with forming numbers, you want to have them place a number card. But I really do encourage that you have them write um, the number here. If not, you want to hold on until they can still, until they can are able to write. Once they have mastered this, and they are able to do all of these independently, you want to move on to worksheets like this one. And I'm going to put a link on the description box where you can get these wonderful worksheets. And this is uh, add addition, uh, addition to five. So you want to have them, once they have mastered doing these index cards, you want to have them do this here. Zero plus one, using the unifix cubes. Using two different colors to represent the numbers. So here we have green and brown. Zero plus one. So let's see, zero none, and then one. So what is the answer? One, and they will write down the answer. And they will go on and on using two different colors to represent the two different numbers um, to complete their addition uh, practice here. And this is great practice. You could do the same thing with subtraction. Um, when you're first teaching addition, you want to focus on addition for a very, very long time before you introduce subtraction. Well, I hope these uh, activities have been helpful. Uh, for more educational toys and activities, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.